The Founding Fathers understood that tyranny rises up from the population centers, from the mobs. So what they did is they created a system that was designed to allow the minority voices to have more strength and power. In other words, the lines weren't originally drawn based on population as much as they were boundaries. Now, the only democratic vote that we had as citizens when it came to the federal government was the House of Representatives. The Senate, well, their senators, the U.S. senators, were appointed by the state legislatures. And notice that there are not politically and population-based boundaries drawn for the senators. They represent the state. And each state has two voices, two senators, regardless of the population. Interestingly enough, the states, and uh, used to be the same way with the state senates, the lines for the state senators were not carefully drawn lines to make sure that the population was evenly divvied up so that Los Angeles County, let's say, in California would get 13 state senators. No, originally it was one state senator per county, regardless of population. The idea was to give the smaller voices, the rural voices, more of a voice.